Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with another Manic Monday book review. And today I'm going to be reviewing Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. So this is the second book in the Stockton Jack the Ripper Quartet and I will try my best to avoid spoilers for the first book. The good thing is that the synopsis for these books don't give away the ending of the previous book. So the series follows the story of Audrey Rose Wadsworth and she wants to be a forensic scientist at a time where it is highly frowned upon for a woman to have a job outside of the home. And through her studies with her uncle, she meets her now best friend, Thomas Cresswell, who is interested in the same career path as her. After the crazy ending to Stalking Jack Ripper, Audrey has decided to flee her home in Victorian London in order to go to a prestigious forensic school in Romania. She will be the only female student and as usual, Thomas Cresswell accompanies her there. While their bodies are being discovered to have died from unnatural causes that may resemble murders done by Vlad the Impaler or Dracula and so Audrey and Thomas being the kind of people that they are get involved in the murder investigation to try to come up with a scientific explanation as to what is causing these murders and who did it and along the way we meet a lot of awesome characters and throw some tropes on their heads and basically get to know and love Audrey Rose and Thomas even more than we already do. So I gave this book five out of five stars and I read it in three days. <laughs> I really loved Stalking Jack the Ripper. I love Audrey Rose as a character. She's very independent. She doesn't want to be put in a cage and she doesn't want to adhere to the Victorian societal norms of getting married, having children, and not having your own independence. And I also love that she is very into science. She is very intelligent, very witty, and I love her sense of humor and just how logical and methodical she is and just how much she loves science and learning about the human body and coming at mysteries with just this calm, logical approach. And I also love her best friend, Thomas Cresswell. He is probably one of my favorite male protagonists in YA. He is extremely funny and charming and so very like Audrey Rose and that he's very logical and methodical. And he kind of reminds me of a teenage Sherlock Holmes because he's very observant and sometimes picks up on things that others can't, even Audrey Rose. The relationship between them is so fun and beautiful. They started out as kind of rivals, not really enemies to lovers, but more competitive to best friends and possibly more as the series goes on, but you can definitely feel the romantic tension between them throughout the books. I just love that no matter what their romantic relationship may be, they always are there for each other and they can always rely on each other when they have a problem to bounce ideas off of each other and just solve the mystery and just use science to try to figure out what is going on. Absolutely love that as someone who likes science or something. I really enjoyed this atmosphere in this book. As I said earlier, it's set in Romania and there's a lot of lore about Prince Dracula and Vlad the Impaler. And so we learn a lot of history in this book. We learn a lot about Dracula and where this lore came from and what scientifically might have caused things to happen or these bodies to be murdered the way they were. I absolutely adored that. 
I also love that in this book, we break through a lot of societal norms. So women working outside of the home, um, LGBTQ plus rep, and, you know, breaking through these barriers because you just want it so much and you want to be involved in what you're passionate about. And I just think that's very cool. And I think Karen Maniscalco did it in a really realistic way. The ending to this book, the last, I think 100 pages was just such a good buildup to what actually happened. I did not expect it. I loved the way that the book wrapped up and how at the end we set up for the next book. I thoroughly enjoyed my time reading this book and if you're interested in a book with folklore and science and these kick butt characters and witty banter, I definitely recommend that you check this book out. So have you read this book? If so, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to talk to you guys about it. As always, thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. See you guys next time. Bye.